Hello. In my last video, I was sharing with you um, a bunch of sewing pattern envelopes that I had bought in order to make some junk journals. And I started to make some. These are my first two. It does take some practice, so this was the first one I did. And it was, I used striped paper in the inside. And I found that it's kind of hard to do it with a stripe because if, if your pattern's a little off and then you're, you're trying to make it square or rectangular, um, it could, it could go off. So that, I actually had some trouble with this one. So I don't think I'll ever use a vertical or a horizontal stripe to do these again. <laughs> this first one, it was pretty simple. It actually used to start out larger, but then I kept trying to make it straight. And so it became a five by seven size and I just used um, blank paper in the inside. And I will put this, use this in my Halloween Traveler's Notebook that I started last year. And I have a video from last October on that. So this is a pretty simple one. I used some really old basic gray pattern paper for the inside. I, I love this. It kind of, um, you know, had the hot pink and the red and turquoise, so kind of matched. But that was a super simple one, not a junk journal, but I did practice use cutting out the envelope and putting it onto paper to make it sturdy. I think this pattern was it oh it was from 1972. So we'll see what I do with this. I'm thinking I'll make layouts of spooky clowns because <laughs> clowns are a little spooky especially <laughs> things but we'll see what I do in October for that. Now the next one again is clowns and this was the second one I did and like I said I used some more just a solidish um, paper on the back but I did cover them so you can't really see it and this one is a little larger I think it's like five and a half by eight or something like that to that effect and this one I actually used to document a craft party that we had that was circus carnival thing. This one I created like a bind. It's still just, the I, I didn't make it uh, sturdy or anything. Um, I just um, scored it so there's like a half inch binding and I used ribbon and you can kind of see that this is straight but this kind of goes off to the side but that's fine and in the back because there was a blank space where the the pattern envelope didn't cover and so I just used some washi tape and kind of kept it simple I wanted to use this pom-pom this uh, but I didn't really find somewhere inside to use it, so I just put it out here. Yeah, the inside paper, it doesn't, <laughs> some of it is like the primary colors and some of it are kind of um, pastel colors, some are like hot. So the inside is kind of a mess, but I didn't really care. This right here, my friend Josie had given us little goodie bags and it's like a chip um, envelope so I just put that on the inside there's nothing inside I took everything that was inside out and then just put this in the front cover and then decorated right here with the date I had bought these uh, popcorn bags on eBay I think Etsy and so I made this a little pocket and here it just you know says when we did this party it was um, a carnival circus theme party 
And I like that it's in the back, you can actually see the writing, the little journaling, so you don't really have to take that out if you don't want. And then here we are with our cotton candy that Josie made us that day. And throughout the album, I used little things that they gave me. So Josie had given us these little things, so I just stuck them in here. And this little tag, I just circled, you know, the date. This is actually supposed to be like the day, but it, I could, I used it as the year and it worked out perfect. So that was kind of cool. Here is a car, um, not a carousel, Ferris wheel with our cotton candy. And I just used cupcake or liners to decorate the back. I just talk about all the food that we had. It was, it says so much sugar and junk food goodies because <laughs> that's pretty much all we had. And then this is actually a recipe from a recipe book. And so I, I thought the balloons went really well with this album. And then I just made these photo booth type strips. And this blue vellum was supposed to be its own separate page, but I didn't have very many pictures, so I ended up gluing the vellum to this polka dot paper. And this is kind of plain, but it was the paper was so loud that I didn't think I needed anything else. Here were the mini corn dogs, pretzels, cupcakes, Twinkies, and all the junk food we ate that day. <laughs> And I just put some acetate. Again, this acetate was supposed to be another page, but when I started, you know, putting the the pictures on pages, I didn't have enough, so I, I took the acetate out. I bought this again on Etsy, and I I just made it a pocket. Um, these were some of the stickers that Liz had given me, so I just. I didn't use them in the album, so I'm just sticking them in here. Just thought it would be a fun element. Again, this is from a recipe book, and I love that it was like a, a carousel, so I put that in there. And I really love this, these colors. And see, this is how, like, these are like bright, kind of colors and then you have you know the primary colors so that's what I'm talking about they don't really match but it's all fun and then this one I printed a five by seven picture just slid in uh, cut it in the middle and then put it out uh, on this page and this background is kind of busy but I was just like it's this is where it's going <laughs> But you can see our whole setup on our junk food. <laughs> and then here's a close-up picture of the cupcakes I made. And the topping was actually a funnel cake. So I actually made the batter and um, poured it in to fry it. So it was fresh um, funnel cake with some powdered sugar and strawberries. And the cupcakes were actually strawberry flavored. So they were really good. And then this one is just the picture I took of the backdrop that I made for the party um, without us posing in it. And um, here I talk about how it's super plain, but it kind of works because it's definitely circus theme. Um, I just did this little pocket or this little fold out. And here we are. Again, just a close-up of some of the goodies. And this is just a bunch of, um, I, Liz had given us some confetti, so I just put this little tab on, stuck it in there. This one, I just took some of the stickers she gave us and put them all here. So I didn't have much journaling, and then I had these tickets, so just a little pocket or things to put in there. And I found this in another uh, clown um, 
what are they, playing cards. And they're so creepy, but I like the colors. And it kind of went with the theme, so I bought them. I think for two, it was like $1.50 or something. Um, and then I, I talked here about how Josie, Liz, and I always give each other goodie brat bags. So I just mentioned that here. And here's a picture of the one that Josie gave me and the one Liz gave me. And then I just have, I don't know if you could see this, it says thank you, thank you. And then this, it says, I used the stickers received throughout this album. And this just fits in there. And then I love this, all these colors. Here's that other uh, card, playing card. And just, I love that hot pink and creepy clown. <laughs> And because you could see the back of the card, I just put some of this huge um, Amy Tangerine washi. And I, I didn't have anything in that. And then this is the treat bag from Liz. And there's nothing in here, but I just thought it completed the album with the bag she gave me and the bag Josie gave me. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And... I will probably be doing a lot of these <laughs> little notebooks, junk journals, because I bought a lot of sewing patterns. So thank you for watching. Bye.